Currently, I'm re-evaluating my entire contraption and I have few ideas on how to improve the spacer usage, how to implement the nexus. I showed you a video back. That was an idea. Now I've made an enclosure for it. I got a uh, third um, terminal block. I'm rewiring certain things and I'll show you this as well while I'm doing these blocks uh, without breaking it too much. So as you can tell, this is terribly space inefficient. So I'm changing my standard of uh, using these spaces. So if I want to have data, which is the green, and there is a block with some sort of module, I'll use one three millimeter spacer, use whatever other spacer for the other data, and then use the spacer, and then if it's power, apply the different color, power, spacer, in the same color of power, uh, the power, and the big blotty spacer to stop and keep it all together. So it's much more efficient, as you can tell. These two kind of have the same uh, layout, but this is running out of space. Well, this one is uh, got much more of it, and it looks better as well. It's just much more compact and neater. I've started doing some experiments with a double deckers to keep two din rails, so I don't know how I will organize these yet. But since I'm working with this now myself and actually using this to build some contraptions, I am uh, coming across issues and I'm solving them as I go. Uh, before I write all of the standardization. So power, oh yes, and I found something from my uh, bot right there. This is my old IoT project, and it's using gaskets to uh, make it not waterproof, but splashproof and dustproof. And uh, I'll be using some of the inspiration from this pro old project into the Nexus enclosure, because this is probably going to be somewhere in the attic or, I don't know, a basement where this might be, you know, moldy and maybe uh, humidity will be quite high. So I want to uh, make sure this is well protected. I'll have to figure out how I've done it here, take it apart and uh, do it here. I've designed this. It's kind of loosey doosey but it's there. And it gets the job done for now for the experiment. Uh, well, second demonstration I'm trying to uh, give you guys. So, yeah, that's it. I'm uh, sorting and figuring out as I go. Thanks for watching.